Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, what is going on tonight? Not a lot. Just going to do some uh, striping on the little bitty car. And uh, I found out I made a little bit of a mistake on this car. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not that I can't fix fairly quickly. Uh, so what I found is that the door windows are too big. So I've got to like almost like cut them in, in half, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm in a kind of a bind about all these windows. And the reason being is like this window right here on one car is small. This one down here would be fine. And it's reversed on the other. Um, the Kinky Cheryl cars. I've been looking for dimensions and um, design specs on them. Can't find anything. <clears throat> so I emailed Kinky Cheryl and asking them if they could please provide the diagrams for the body structure on the Kinky Cheryl cars, uh, as far as the ones that were sent to Mexico, like FCP 1217, uh, NDM, I think it was 282, there's one with a club car, um, and from my understanding, from what I've been able to find online, is there were some 40 different variations of Kinky Cheryl cars ordered from Japan. I don't know. I'm trying to find out for sure because I've seen like on the roster for NDM and FNM that some road numbers were reused and the cars aren't the same. So uh, I just kind of want to see what they come back with. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully they'll uh, call me back, or not call me back, but email me back here in the next couple of days, um, because I'm quite interested uh, to find out. Uh, Kinky Shero is still making passenger cars today. In fact, they started making cars in 1920, so they got a long history. Very, very, very long history. To turn y'all down here. I don't know how good you're gonna see that, but Well, yes, I'm really hoping they will email me back with some uh, either blueprints or numbers or something. Uh, I think that would work out really, really nice. And that would actually help with uh, this whole build. Or this whole kit bash, I should say.
did find something else interesting on the web that the uh, MDM painted up one of their cabooses in the red, white, and green. I don't know if that was like a celebration car or something they were doing for a celebration. I don't know. It was kind of cool. We're going to let that dry. And we are done with that little car. Or, excuse me, not cart, baggage. Or, not baggage? Well, I mean baggage. Well, I guess it could be if you're storing baggage in it. But storage car, or storage bunker, or storage house, whatever you want to call it, this is actually a... Uh, paint thinner. All those little bottles, you know, the moonshine bottles that look will be liquor bottles. Pretty cool. It's all glass. And uh, makes for a perfect holder. I don't, I don't think I'll take I want to see that. That's it for tonight. Just a quick, short little video. Let's uh, remove the tape because uh, you don't want to leave that on there too long and have a chance of it bleeding over. So, Voila. Ooh, this one did get up underneath it just a little bit. Not a big deal. We can fix all that. touch up on that side 
Uh, came out pretty nice. I'll have to do some touch-ups on it. No big deal. That side came out almost perfect. Except for one little spot right down there. Um, yeah. I'm satisfied. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add any more pinstriping to it. I don't know. I might. After it's good and dry. A couple of days. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I might add another pinstripe. Another two print straps. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. We'll just see. As always, I hope you liked what you saw tonight. And y'all enjoyed the quick little video. I uh, you would. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. I do not ask for support in any way again. Um, I do this for fun because I can. And I enjoy doing it for all of you. As always, keep the shiny side up, rubber down. I'll see you on the road.